Science. Grade 5, Quarter 1. Chapter 2. What are the changes that matter undergoes? You may have observed that some materials around you undergo changes, you may also notice that while there are materials that change, there are also those that seem to stay the same. While you cannot see the changes in these materials, it does not mean that they do not undergo changes. Everything around us undergoes changes at certain conditions even those that seemingly do not change. What are the pieces of evidence that change really happened to a certain material? How do these changes affect us and the environment? Objectives Identify and describe the kind of changes that occur in matter. Explain and cite instances on how changes in matter affect our daily lives. Lesson 4. Physical and Chemical Properties of Matter Matter refers to all the objects and materials around us. In studying its different kinds, we usually observe and compare it to one material to another. For example, when we describe the difference between a paper and rock, we usually look for characteristics that are not similar in the two objects being described. These characteristics that make matter distinct from one another is called properties. The properties of matter can be classified as physical properties or chemical properties. Physical properties As you have learned in grade 3, the phase of matter changes depending on the temperature, for example, when water starts to boil, steam or vapor is produced, although the appearance of water was changed, the water vapor's composition is still similar with that of water in liquid form, it shows how water transforms to one phase to another without changing its composition. The characteristic of a matter that can be readily observed without changing its composition is known as physical property. Some physical properties are specific to each phase of material. Matter in liquid form has the ability to flow. Some solid matter are known for their hardness. Solid materials have different levels of hardness. Some are hard while others are soft. Gases, on the other hand, can be compressed and most of them are colorless. The diagram below shows the different phase changes. Hardness Hardness is the ability of a material to be rigid and resist pressure that may cause deformation or change in its shape. Hard materials like metal and wood can be used to construct buildings, bridges, or other infrastructure. Brittleness not all hard materials are unbreakable, though there are solid materials that when subjected to high stress or pressure, crumble or break easily. This property is known as brittleness. Glass and porcelain are brittle and can break when dropped or slammed against a hard surface or object. However, they can still be useful even when they break. The broken pieces can be arranged as wall decor or as improvised spikes on walls to protect one's home from trespassers. Flexibility Flexibility is the ability of a material to be bent without breaking. Some plastics and metals exhibit flexibility. Flexible objects like thin metal wires and plastic strings can be used for tying or binding objects and things. Elasticity Elasticity is the ability of a material to be stretched and then returned to its original shape after. A rubber band is an example of an elastic material. Conductivity Conductivity is the ability of a material to allow heat and electricity pass through it. Metals are good conductors of heat and electricity. Malleability Do you know how a bar of geld can be turned into jewelry? Gold can be hammered into flat shecks until the desired shape of jewelry is obtained. This property is called malleability. Silver, iron, and aluminum are examples of malleable materials. Are bottle caps that are made of metal still useful? Yes, they may be used to make a doormat. They may also be hammered into thin sheets to make an improvised tambourine. Dictility Some metals also exhibit ductility, or the ability to be drawn into thin wires. This is why most of the electrical wirings are made up of metals. Porosity Some materials such as paper and cloth can absorb liquid well, these materials exhibit porosity. Porous materials have plenty of spaces inside where liquid can be absorbed. 
Chemical Properties Not all properties of matter can be observed immediately, sometimes, the composition of a material has to change first before a certain property can be observed, this property is known as a chemical property. A chemical property is most evident when a certain material chemically reacts with another material. Below are some chemical properties of materials. Combustibility and flammability. Combustibility is the ability of a material to burn, while flammability is the ability of a material to ignite or catch fire easily. Alcohol is an example of a combustible material, it burns when it reacts with a lighted matchstick. Other examples of combustible materials are wood, sawdust, dried leaves, paper, wax, gasoline, kerosene, oil, thinner, and varnish. Alcohol and gasoline are both combustible and flammable, they can burn fast. However, not all combustible materials are flammable. For example, a big chunk of wood can burn when subjected to high amount of heat but it will not catch fire easily unless you expose it longer so that it will start burning. Combustible and flammable materials need to be disposed of properly because they react readily and easily when exposed to extreme heat. These materials are useful in some ways but proper handling must be done when using them. Biodegradability some materials can decompose or decay through the actions of bacteria and other organisms, when these materials decompose, their particles return to the soil. The ability of a material to decompose is also known as biodegradability. Examples of biodegradable materials are fruit and vegetable peelings, plant clippings, and dead plants and animals. They can be buried in a compost pit, which is a shallow hole dug in the ground, then covered with topsoil. Over time, earthworms and microorganisms act on the buried materials in the pit and gradually break them down into compost, which is a natural fertilizer. Non-biodegradable materials take a much longer time to be fully decomposed, thus, these materials must be reused in another way. Evidence of Chemical Change Whenever a material undergoes chemical change, one or more of these evidences are observed. 1. Formation of new product. When a nail is exposed to oxygen and water, rust forms on its surface. Once rust is formed, the original material is unidentifiable. 2. Formation of gas. This evidence usually coincides with the formation of a new product. For example, when a material is burning, Gas in the form of smoke is released together with the formation of ashes. Also, when baking soda is mixed with vinegar, bubbles are formed as the baking soda starts to curdle or form lumps. 3. Release of heat. There are instances when chemical change results in the sudden heating or cooling of a material. For example, when a metal is soaked in an acid, hakat is released as the metal starts to wear away due to the acid's strength. Let us review. 1. It refers to all the objects around us. A. Physical properties. B. Chemical properties. C. Matter. D. Flammability. Answer. C. Matter. 2. Ability of material to decompose. A. Combustibility. B. Biodegradability. C. Physical properties. D. None of the above. Answer. B. Biodegradability. 3. What type of materials take a much longer time to be fully decomposed? A. Biodegradable materials. B. Chemical change. C. Physical properties. D. Non-biodegradable materials. Answer. D. Non-biodegradable materials. 4. Is most evident when a certain material chemically reacts with another material. A. Chemical property. B. Physical property. C. Chemical change. D. Matter. Answer. A. Chemical property. 
5. It is the ability of a material to burn. A. Biodegradability. B. Flammability. C. Combustibility. D. Formation of gas. Answer. C. Combustibility. 6. Characteristic of matter that can be readily observed without changing its composition. A. Chemical property. B. Physical property. C. Chemical change. D. Matter. Answer. B. Physical property. 7. Is the ability of a material to be rigid and resist pressure that may cause deformation or change in its shape. A. Brittleness. B. Flexibility. C. Hardness. D. Elasticity. Answer. C. Hardness. 8. Is the ability of material to be bent without breaking. A. Hardness. B. Elasticity. C. Flexibility. D. Brittleness. Answer. C. Flexibility. 9. Solid materials when subjected to high stress or pressure, crumble or break easily. A. Brittleness. B. Flexibility. C. Elasticity. D. Porosity. Answer. A. Brittleness. 10. Some materials such as paper and cloth can absorb liquid well. A. Dictility. B. Porosity. C. Elasticity. D. Malleability. Answer. B. Porosity. 11. Is the ability of a material to allow heat and electricity pass through it. A. Conductivity. B. Hardness. C. Ductility. D. Porosity. Answer. A. Conductivity. 12. Is the ability of a material to be stretched and then return to its original shape after. A. Malleability. B. Brittleness. C. Flexibility. D. Elasticity. Answer. D. Elasticity. 13. The ability to be drawn into thin wires. A. Dictility. B. Conductivity. C. Malleability. D. Porosity. Answer. A. Dictility. 14. Material like gold, silver, iron and aluminum can be hammered into flat sheets until the desired shape is obtained. A. Dictility. B. Porosity. C. Conductivity. D. Malleability. Answer. D. Malleability.